it is really cold. Um, but hey, good news, no leaks. Didn't leak once. Lord knows we try. All right, hi guys. My name is Dylan Brayshaw and I'm a surf photographer. And on a recent trip, trip to Japan, I bought this, a Sigma fisheye lens. It's a 15mm EXDG fisheye. That's the box it came in. And then it also came in this little pouch, which was uh, really cool, so that's quite good. Um, so I needed the fisheye lens for obviously shooting in the barrel footage and also underwater footage. Um, so yeah, my initial, I've tested it out once already. Um, I'll show you the session that I did um, yesterday. My initial thoughts are it's pretty, it's a pretty good lens. It's really wide. You've got about 180 degree um, vision. Um, the only thing that I don't like about it is that the autofocus isn't very good. So it's very slow. Um, it's pretty smooth, but it's a bit noisy as well. If you're looking at, at buying this lens, you're probably looking at also buying the Takina 10 to 17 mil and also the Canon version um, of that sort of uh, focal length. So I went for this because it cost about 580 Australian dollars. So yeah, let me have, let me show you what it's like. Um, you've got a lens cap, but what you actually have to do is pull this whole sleeve off it, and there you go. You've got the Oh, some dust just went on it. Blow it off. It's got a little hood on it, which is pretty good for the the sun. Put filters on the front. You have to put the filters on the back. So those are the filters there. So they just slide into the back of the camera if you want to get your polarizing or whatever. Yeah, so I did a session yesterday with this lens. Um, overall, I was really happy with it. It performed really well. There's just a few settings I have to adjust, but that's completely my fault. Um, so I'll, I'll have to change that. But yeah, anyway, yeah, check it out. Oh, okay, well, good morning, guys. It's really cold. We're in bloody the middle of winter, I'd say. There's been no swell. We've had westerly winds for the last week. The swell has been well under a meter, so I haven't been taking many photos. Let's see if there's any waves. Oh yeah, it looks okay. It's not too measurable, but the, the sun's gonna like rise behind there, or even over there now in winter. And then down there, you can see, I don't know, it's just very clear down there. So the current temperature is 17 degrees, which is actually pretty warm for right now. It doesn't look like there's, the waves are big enough for me to actually get inside them with a camera. I might leave it at that and then hit it up tomorrow. Tomorrow is meant to be a westerly wind's meant to come through tomorrow, blow all this cloud away, and then it's going to be freezing cold, minimums of under 10 degrees. So I might try that in the morning tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bro, right, well, good morning, guys. This is it. It's Saturday morning and it is freezing. Just as I thought, the westerly winds have pushed all the cloud away and it's really cold, clear skies. There is absolutely, I don't think there's any waves. Let's go have a look and see if there's waves. Well, as you can see, there are no waves. There are even seagulls sitting in the shore break. The plan is to go look for a beach break, a really small beach break. Okay, so I'm just driving a little bit further down the road um, to the Surfers Paradise skyline because I want to I get that in my in my photo. So you just pull over here in an alleyway, and then I'm not too far away from the Q1, which is the biggest, tallest building in the Gold Coast. Well, I'm just going to go out. Hey, there's no point in checking it. I know I know it's small. So let me show you the setup. We've got my dome housing on. And you see there's no spacer in between there. Usually I'll have a spacer. And then there, I don't know if you can see inside, but inside is the fisheye, the 15 mil Sigma. So let's see if everything's on. I seal it up the night before, so everything's on inside. Boom. There you go. <laughs> Take a selfie just to check. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, let's suit up. It's so cold. Let's do this. <sighs> it has a massive hole. I'm going to be taking a pair of goggles with. So it helps me see under the water and I can frame the shot um, really well. Um, the other thing you need to do is with the dome housing. I saw this on the Aquatech website. They, it's a tutorial before you go out because you don't want to wax this lens because you want the water there to be a, f a thin film of water over the lens. So you dip it before you take the shot and then take the shot and you also cover it in saliva so you just gotta spit on it try to do this before you go out too I don't know that sort of just um, puts a coating on it of saliva so when you dip it the, f the water is even over the whole dome um, anyway let's go let's get out there Lord knows we try staying up all night till the break of dawn we'd fight Sometimes I stand on the edge With the wind in my face My thoughts disarrange Hey guys, okay, oh, I'm back My hands are cold It is really cold um, But hey, good news No leaks, didn't leak once I must have done the right job. You just got to check your equipment before you go out. Make sure the seals aren't pinched. That happened once. Horrible. It's fun for sh shooting with the fisheye. That was a bit different because I, mean, I had it on um, shutter shutter priority. So it wasn't, I couldn't adjust the aperture, which is what I needed to do because it's a 2.8. It was really sharply focused on certain sections and I wanted the whole frame, you know almost to infinity focused so next time i'll use aperture priority and change it to like a six or a seven or a five five point six and then the other thing is manual focus i think i have to lock it on a, on a focus point because it was on autofocus and when i dive under a wave i go to take a shot it would jump in and out of focus it couldn't find a focus point now if you guys have any tips on how i can solve that that'll help but i'll probably just lock it on about a meter away other than that, it worked pretty well. Um, go home, check out the shots, and then I'll post the shots when I do the edit the video. And you can have a look at the. This is a Sigma 15 mil prime. Yeah, well, overall, I'm pretty happy with this lens. I'll probably keep it for a while, um, and I'm going to wait for that really clear water day when I can get um, crystal clear underwater shots. Um, yeah. So anyway, my name is Dylan Brayshaw. Um, I'm a surf photographer on the Gold Coast in Australia. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you find this helpful or interesting and um, I hope to see you out in the water. Cheers to the sea, watch away with the tide. Out into the sea, Lord knows we try. Out into the sea, watch away with the tide.